Alright, so this video I'll show you how to uh, import in the maps that we exported from X Normals in the last video, and then I'll show you three examples with the default map, the normal map with which acts like an illusion, and then also the displacement map, which is like the real geometry change. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so a normal map, uh, I mean the default map looks like this. Okay, so this is uh, seven hundred faces with the soft edges on okay so under mesh display the soft edge is on so it looks like this one with a normal map will look like it has bump map details it has the high rest definition projected on this low on this uh, lower mesh model okay so it's pretty cool so we will assign a v-ray material to it and then we'll just go down select normal map with tangent space and then i'll just load in the map as a file and then point this to the the one that we exported earlier so i'm gonna use normals so you create the normal map which gives us the illusion that it has the high rest definition on it but make no mistake this is just 500 faces all right so it has the details on it but it's it looks like it has uh, a lot of juicy details. It looks like it's a high res model, but it is only 700 geometry, 400 faces, and uh, it's being carried out by the bump over here. So let's say, curious what will happen if I pump out the bump. Yeah, you can see the bump map, if it's too high, it, it starts to become a bit too fake. Okay, so we just keep it at the default one or maybe 1.5, it's, it's good. Right, so so you you'll be able to, but I just want to pump it up to show you the illusion, and then under the lighting, it's gonna show you the illusion of the different detail levels on the geometry. Really cool. All right, so how do we do a displacement map? Okay, because the displacement map is actually a real geometry change. Okay, look at the text here. It's a real geometry change. This is just an illusion. So the normal, the one with the normal map, it will just remain as four hundred faces. But because this is, uh, we are using displacement map, so the geometry will actually change, and that's why we need to go not under hypershade, but we will go under uh the V-ray settings under create here to actually create the map for it. Okay, so uh, let me do that. Create. V-Ray, V-Ray displacement map, apply single V-Ray displacement node to selection. Okay, you can check the PDF, which also shows you exactly where this is. Select the mesh, create V-Ray, V-Ray displacement, and apply single V-Ray displacement node to selection. Okay, after we are done, we need to load in the height map over here, not the normal map, height map, and uh, it's gonna look like this okay so let's let me show you um by the way the the map i'm just going to change the map as well to uh just a default v-ray material because as you can see uh the displacement is actually another thing itself the displacement is not affected by the normal map i don't need a normal map over here to uh, actually create the illusion i'm just you're using purely the v-ray displacement Anyway, so I'm just trying to say the material doesn't matter. V-ray displacement, the one that I created over here just now, V-ray single V-ray displacement node is a node and we would load in the file, geometry, load in the height map over here. So the height map is going to trigger the displacement change. So if I were to look at the render right now, bam! maximum displacement but we are losing all control what's going on so we need something to dial this down a little bit more so here go to attributes select v-ray um, subdivision and displacement quality we want to check this second one we want to check we want to check displacement control so open up extra v-ray uh, attributes here and then the maximum subdivision we can use four or you can pump it up to 12 so it will give you more subdivisions. You use ZBrush, you know why subdivision. So all this will have more lines, more uh, geometry when it's being rendered. That's what it's saying. And then the displacement count, of course, uh, we will pump this down. Let's say I pump this down to 0 
and then now we do a render. You will see it much better. Okay, so this is the displacement with the real geometry change. I think the 0 0.15 is still too much. The displace displaces the uh, geometry and then it becomes too fat right now. So maybe I want to check out the values, use 0 0.1. Okay, so at least it's not so crazy. Displacement shift. Oops. What if I, I'm curious how you have pressed as minus 0 0.1. Okay, so it can go negative as well. Okay, but I think uh, 0 0.1 is actually pretty good. And then uh, maybe I want to put these two guys a bit closer just to show you. Zoom out a bit. The displacement um, really displaces the geo, as you can see. So it looks much more higher detailed than the one with normal map. The one with normal map still looks a bit fake. Okay, so some of the areas is uh, the geometry did not go very well. They, you can still see that it looks uh, very jagged. Whereas this one, it actually tries to displace everything. And then the, it has a sub division going on below to to support it, so you can see the edges over here, it looks so much better than here. Of course, the trade-off will be this will remain 700 body count, so the the rendering for the normal map is actually really, really fast. But you see just now, the moment I added the displacement map, it's going to take so much time to render. So it actually really displaces the geo. So what it actually does is that uh, it's going to make my rendering very slow. So this is a trade-off you need to take note of and then whether you really want to use a displacement on your model. Uh, good thing is you can dial the subdivision level, as you can see. And then if I don't want it to be so slow, I can take it down back to four. I think it should still work. And the rendering should still be pretty good. Don't need it to be too high, actually. And yeah, the rendering still works. Okay, so, so even if the subdivision level, I didn't push it up too high, the geometry still works and um, as I mentioned before the normal map is just an illusion but it's a very cool illusion the displacement map is a real geometry change so use both of these according to your needs and I would say uh, you know these uh, days normal maps and bump maps is really really important because there is not a lot of times where we can use displacement like this it's kind of luxury you know a lot of times it's very very luxury and uh, we want things to animate fast, we want things to be able to work well, and uh, that's why we use uh, normal map pretty often. Okay, so I hope you learn well for uh, what we are teaching today, retopology and uh, exporting all the maps using normal maps, displacement maps, and uh, putting it to use the high definition mesh projecting into low poly mesh. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye, thanks.